All right, Stephanie, this is for you. I'm here with the team. Say hi, Stephanie. Team. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, Stephanie. Hello, hi, Stephanie. Stephanie. All right, they're kind of in the dark. You can't really see them. But so uh, we're just experimenting, Stephanie, with our um, stage design for Christmas. And so what you see here uh, is an example of what we could make more of. And we can hang, we could create as many of these snowflakes as we would like. And, um, and these are kind of more just the cutouts. So we would probably use these as patterns to cut out uh, styrofoam versions of these snowflakes. Uh, we have four different sizes uh, that John has made for us, all ready to go. Um, we have lots of this fiber fill snow. Um, what we have up here, Stephanie, is uh, made out of chicken wire. Uh, we've constructed a window, and these are um, plastic cups that are hanging from the chicken wire to make it look like a window. And that thing in the center, um, using a certain color of light, we can make it look like a candle. So um, we would hang this window looking thing and light it up, and LED lights refract off the plastic cups really nicely. LED lights, we can make the snowflakes any color we want. And the vision here, you guys feel free to chime in if you'd like. Uh, the vision is to take the logo Path of Peace. Let's make sure that I, I send that logo to you, Stephanie, or that you're looking at that logo while you're making your artistic rendering. The Path of Peace and um, in the logo, there are footprints in the snow, and it says Path of Peace. And if you can picture a, a snowy scene that's very peaceful, um, we are going to cut down birch trees, Stephanie, and we're going to spray paint them white like we did a couple years ago. And so we can put butch, uh, birch trees kind of on the sides, we're thinking, uh, to frame the whole scene. Um, there will be uh, a new center screen that will be above the drummer, five foot, it hangs down five feet and it's 20 feet wide to mainly show uh, lyrics of songs. But we can hang these snowflakes anywhere on the stage that we want, four different sizes. We're thinking uh, the window would maybe be more on stage left. And then on stage right, over kind of above the piano, where that piano is, uh, we thought we might use chicken wire and these cups to make a Bethlehem star. We think that would shimmer and shine really nicely. And so that's an option too, but Stephanie, if you can picture um, snow, like uh, on the stage, we can use a bunch more of that fiber fill, make it look snowy on the stage. We could even put snow in front of the drums. We can put snow pretty much anywhere. Snowflakes are falling, um, a window. So it's like uh, we're looking into a house. So in the congregation, it's like you're standing on the outside of the house. You're kind of looking to a window to the inside of a house. Um, do you guys have anything to add as I'm talking here? Just the idea that we make the snowflakes in different materials to sort of capture um, light in different ways. Mm -hmm. uh, the idea would be that we don't want it to get too busy for snow up there, but we definitely want to give the impression of a lot of different, uh, or a lot of different diversity. That's a, a lot of different um, textures and, and uh, visual cues up there. Because that's how snowflakes come. Exactly. Right. I was Which trying one? to be all profound about <laughs> no, it. No, that's good. No tour of light. Yeah, each is unique. Right. And, and we so, want it to tie in all the way out into the entryway and lobby as the path starts at the door and works all its way through the whole congregation and stage as well. That's beautiful. So let's go ahead and walk out there, you guys, and we'll talk about that a little bit as well. So Stephanie, um, the whole vision ties in uh, from the moment you walk in to the church, really. Uh, so we want, we'll be setting up more birch trees 
and birch tree branches. And Linda, you're thinking the four, like four corners of the lobby uh, for the most part. Probably, basically. That's um, going to be a photo con uh, corner over there. Yes, and I, I did uh, get the word from Pastor Tyler that we have a lot of freedom to move lobby tables and whatnot, the connecting center, all of that. There's a lot of flexibility there for the month of December. So we can kind of create our own path through the snow I think kind of look. We want to take advantage of the fact that we've got outlets on these pillars. Outlets and otherwise on the pillars. the pillars yeah. are going to be kind of bare. So if we want to put trees here or at least branches yeah. and light them with LEDs, that's an option. And I feel like mm -hmm. it spruces it all up. Mm -hmm. Birches yeah. it all up. So we're not restricted to just birch trees in the corners. Yeah. Um, but certainly the corners would be good, maybe at the pillars here, Stephanie. We have power. Um, and Stephanie, we're thinking of two photo booths this year. So this is where we've had a photo booth before, and we'd like to have one here again. And this year, uh, Linda, talk about the uh, traffic flow idea. Okay. Um, we're going to set the photo booth up in this corner with some trees in the background. Birch trees, birch more trees. of the birch trees, you think? And mm -hmm. then we're going to have um, stanchions along where this table is, and the, the flow, hopefully, of traffic will come up through this door and around this way and into the booth this way, and then they can exit there. So we're mm -hmm. trying to keep from having a bottleneck. Better right traffic flow so we don't have a, yeah. like, a long line that goes into the lobby here. And then also help with traffic flow and to have a different scene. Another, a second photo booth. Yes, incorporating the stairs. Uh, again, maybe with some more trees, snow things, and that kind of maybe thing. Maybe here there'd be a Christmas tree, perhaps. Maybe, yeah. But uh, families could actually stand on the stairs, right? And have mm -hmm. their picture taken when they're on the, and we'd set up a scene in front of the stairs exactly. for a second photo booth. So again, a lot of the, um, the birch tree look, Stephanie, and uh, snow. And we might purchase some smaller LED lights that we can use to light up the birch tree branches in here. So we can think of maybe another tone of color. We're wondering if gold might work. To bring in some green, maybe. Rather than using birch trees, mm -hmm. we wrap these. Just wrap these up with silver or any number mm -hmm. of things that, since we, we probably don't want to go down the red and green route simply because we're already doing the path of peace thing and everything's yeah. been very blue and okay. snowy, but even just wrapping them with white would allow us to play with that and. Yeah. And, uh, so a lot they, of white. If they, we weren't, can... if they weren't, if they weren't kind of. The blue, gray, it's like, gray. Just like going on. Then I would say we don't need to do anything. Do we just light them? Yeah. But I think being able to light them, like I said, I didn't realize these had power. I'm yeah. Really excited about this. Josie <laughs> is pretty giddy. She's geeked over this whole project. That's Love true. it. That's true. be so she's, much. She's symbolism. our lighting person, Stephanie. In case you didn't know. So much symbolism. But yeah, I think that I think that there, there's actually a lot of flexibility with these. Um, yeah, if, yeah. Even if we don't put trees on them or uh -huh. branches. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All that being said, I do think that a tree on each of the center ones would actually be probably a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe so. And you know, um, you know, on the subtle side, but still, if we can kind of make this whole lobby almost look like a path, like maybe the path kind of starts wider, wider back here, but then as mm -hmm. you're walking through the, the lobby, you're kind of going through the snowy forest. I don't know. Do we even like move these tables around to make a path? Probably. Maybe you're coming through over here. Then you're. Right there, oh, that's right. Uh, the signs are going to say. Little signs right here that have, um, I think it was hope. Um, is it hope and love? Maybe peace here. Or yes. if okay. we don't want to use that word again, if we want to use um, another hope light. Mm -hmm. or something like that um and i don't know so a few words a few signs that yes. bring up, out the different qualities of christmas yeah. could or, be here or, in the with, center with everything that we're doing yeah. texture and then you walk through here and then then the path just leads you pretty much all the way to 
the stage and the Bethlehem star, if you kind of picture it more in this corner. So it kind of leads towards the middle and then up to this corner. And then actually, uh, Stephanie, when, um, <clears throat> when Jesse is preaching, and uh, like before the service and at the end of the service, uh, this new center screen that we have, uh, we could probably make um, a banner. Let's see. We could probably we could take the Path of Peace logo and crop it in such a way that uh, we project that logo on the center screen, and um, that that might look really nice too. So we don't want to hang any snowflakes right behind that center screen or right in front of it. Um, but they'd be more on the sides and. Yeah, we can hang snowflakes of varying sizes and lengths and depths. So we're really not limited there at all. Uh, there's going to be one, one weekend in December, the third weekend, Stephanie, when we have a large choir and orchestra. So on that week, uh, the drums actually be in this cage over on the side here. Probably choir in the middle and then orchestra over here on this side. All the other weeks, it'll be kind of our standard worship team that we normally have. Okay, I think that's probably enough. Any last minute things for Stephanie? Any, any more thoughts? I made a good, like, 11 minute video for her. So Can, can you copy that to me so I can, oh, absolutely. I can look yeah. at it on my end too? I can text it to all of you if you like. Okay, over and, and out.